It's Coach Zach, head coach here at 24-7 Hockey, and in this video, I'm gonna talk about what you need to do if you wanna play in the NHL. Now, obviously, there's a ton of things that you need to do if you wanna play in the NHL. In this video, we're gonna cover three major things that may be a little unique, maybe things that you haven't quite thought of before if you wanna to get to that level. And if it's not the NHL that's your ultimate goal, maybe you have a different ultimate goal, right? Maybe it's the Olympics, maybe it's a national team, maybe it's just being on one of the best teams at your level. Whatever your ultimate goal is as a hockey player, we're gonna cover how you can reach that in this video. Before we get into the video, full disclosure here, I never played in the NHL. I wasn't good enough. I worked extremely hard as a hockey player. I got to some elite levels, but I never got to the NHL. I have, however, since that point, coached players who have made the NHL, trained players who have made the NHL, interview players who have made, made the NHL. And there's a lot of common elements that I've learned from these players. And that's what I'm going to share with you in this video. One, you have to have an unwavering belief that you're going to accomplish your goal. This means if your goal is to play in the NHL, you have to believe without a shadow of a doubt that you're going to accomplish it. You can't let anything sneak in. You can't let doubt creep in. There has to be no question in your mind that you're gonna accomplish your goal and play in the NHL. Now this may seem obvious, but you would not believe how many players I talk to on a regular basis that say, ah, oh, you know, hopefully I'm just good enough to play in the NHL. It'd be really cool if I got a chance to play in the NHL. No one that ever said that actually makes the NHL. The players that make the NHL have to sacrifice, have to train so hard that the only way they're gonna make those sacrifices, that they're gonna make those decisions is if they set their entire life up around actually accomplishing that goal. If it's the most important thing to them and if they believe without a doubt that they're gonna do it. Now, whether they actually do or not is another story because there's a lot of players that believe without a doubt and train that way and act that way that still fall short. But without that, without that as the first step, you don't even have a chance. No one's made the NHL that doesn't believe that they're going to do it, that doesn't believe so strongly inside that nothing's going to be able to stop them, that that's their number one goal and you cannot stop them. They're going to do whatever it takes. So that is step one. Don't kind of think you're going to make the NHL. Don't hope you're going to make the NHL. Don't wish you're going to make the NHL. Believe no matter what that you're going to make the NHL. And that has to be down in your core. That has to be in your gut. That nothing is going to stop you from accomplishing that. Two, the players I've coached, trained, and interviewed that have made the NHL are obsessed with improving themselves, improving their game, improving themselves as individuals, improving their habits. They're so focused on improving themselves. They don't rely on other people to always tell them what to do. These players approach it differently. They have a coach, they have trainers, and those coaches and trainers are gonna give them advice. They're gonna give them information, and that's great but they're also out there learning and studying from themselves because coaches and trainers aren't always right. And even if they are right, there's still extra information and more knowledge that you can acquire. The more knowledge that you have, the more power that you have. So study the game, learn the position as much as possible, study training, learn what it takes to train your cardiovascular system, how to improve your conditioning, strength and conditioning, skill development, stick handling, shooting, goal scoring, learn all of those things. Study as much as you can and be obsessed with learning as much as you can about the game, but then actually go out there and apply it. Nowadays, it's easy just to go onto Instagram or Facebook and watch a quick video or watch a quick drill and think that you're actually learning. No, no, no. I'm talking about deeper knowledge. I'm talking about long videos or books that's going to actually take that information and embed that into your brain. And then if you actually go out there and apply it, you test it yourself, then you're actually applying something that you've learned. Taking notes on things, keeping a notebook on certain elements, that's actually studying and learning and that's what these players do. They're obsessed with that process. Way too many players actually just go on and watch a couple 60 second clips and then think because they watch that that they're out there studying. That's not studying, that's not learning, that's not being obsessed with improving yourself. That's the bare minimum. Three, this is probably the most important one. 
before these players were actually NHL players, they acted like NHL players. So what do I mean by that? That makes no sense, right? Well, think about this. The daily decisions that you make, every decision that you make throughout the day, is that a decision an NHL player would make? When it comes to your nutrition, when it comes to your training, when it comes to how you're preparing for practices, how you're preparing for games, those NHL players, that's their livelihood, that's their job, and they treat it like professionals. So think about the decisions that you're making right now. Every single day, those small micro decisions and how that adds up. Is that the decisions that NHL players are making? Are you making and acting like an NHL player? Do you have NHL habits? If not, that needs to change. The habits, the decisions that you're making on a daily basis need to be the habits that an NHL player would make or whatever level you wanna to get to. That's how you need to start acting right now. I've actually outlined the habits of elite hockey players, the daily habits of elite hockey players. And I've got that available for you at 247hockey.com slash habits. So if you go to 247hockey.com slash habits, you'll get the elite hockey habits, the NHL hockey habits that I've learned, that I've studied, that I've worked with other players on that actually help them do those things every single day to reach their hockey goals. There'll be a link in the description of this video or you can just type in 247hockey.com slash habits. I hope this video helped you understand what it takes if you want to reach the NHL or reach your goals as a hockey player. If you're not subscribed to our YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button now. Turn on those notifications so you get notified every time we release a new video. And leave me a comment below. What do you think the number one thing is that you have to do if you want to make the NHL? Not the obvious thing, not be the best player, not have the best skills. Look, we get you have to get to that point. But the things that are underneath the surface a little bit, what do you think the number one thing is, the number one habit that you have to have, the, the number one mindset that you have to have if you want to play in the NHL?